and welcome back guys James here and here we are again on the dream machine okay so last episode we were managed to encounter the dream machine and looks like we have to shut it down according to Mr. Morton and also plus Mr. Morton is now dead yeah really sad stuff from the last episode um I'm really sorry guys if I'm really sorry guys I think I'll try something different with the microphone this the setup I, I mean I made a change on the setup my microphone I really hope I really hope that my voice is clear this time okay where we left up um we I also managed to what you to call it again I managed to get his handprint for in his control room I'll, I'll things where we left up uh, I'm, really, I'm really sorry I'm really all over the place right now okay though so I already saw this part already but I haven't I haven't examined almost everything in this room so First of all, let's go to the TV screens. Okay. Oh my god. This camera overlooks somebody's dining room. If I'm not mistaken, this is our next door neighbor's bridge, bridge party. Okay. The slanted window suggests that this room is on the top floor. There's a guy in a wheelchair looking through a telescope. That might be our neighbors. This hallway looks like ours, except it's mirrored and has more furniture. It might belong to somebody on the top floor. This, uh, this camera overlooks the lobby. Mr. Morton probably monitored the, the coming and going of the tenants. The mover is still on his lunch break, apparently. Oh my god, really? You're, are you gonna stay there? Do you realize you have work to do? Oh my god. This camera is monitoring more than someone's hallway. Judging by the old photos in the wall, it might be Eddie's. Oh. That's our bedroom. It's a motion about watches when we slept last night. I feel uncover I feel uncomfortable looking at this. This camera monitors someone's living room. It might belong to someone on the third floor. It's somebody's bedroom. I don't know whose apartment it belongs to. Okay. This camera monitors someone's living room. It might belong to someone on the third floor. There's four third floors here. You really like the third floor compared to ours. Okay, I... Oh, I can... Change? Okay, that's weird. There's maybe a puzzle here. Uh -huh. Is it everything I see? Is it just everything I see? What? Is that Alicia in our hallway? It is. I can see the phone and the boxes are here on the floor. That means he's got more chemistry in our apartment. That is just beyond creepy. I mean, seriously, in the front door as well? Oh. Alicia? What happened to her? Looks like the machine got her. Okay, gas button. Nothing happened. Well, of course. Hey, the phone! I haven't called the police yet. We're sorry if all our all our operators are busy at the moment, but we're working on answering your call as soon as we can. You're currently number 21 in the line. Oh, screw you. Oh, oh no, I'm not gonna wait here. Leave. Okay, I tried to examine the map before, before we left the episode. I, I think this is the only thing I examined it. There was a big cut on that part. Okay, so... If I understood Mr. Morton correctly, if I understood Mr. Morton correctly, this is the map of the dreamscape. If we're, it's where we go when we sleep. Mr. Morton's family has been trying to chart it for generations. That's probably why the map has been modified so much. He said we're born somewhere in the center and move outward as we age. Oh yeah, he did say that. Oh, how many times do they change the map? This place is blank. Except for a big question mark. I guess this area hasn't been charted yet. It could be ours. I mean, we're young. Maybe. The note says Alicia Neff. Oh, never mind. Mr. Morton visited her, her dream last night as we slept. I'll never be able to forgive him for that. Dude, I, I think he's doing this for the. I know anything he has good intentions, not like those kind of intentions. I mean, he died at, you know. The note says Martin Willard. He must live on the top floor. 
he's another tenant Mr. Morton has been visiting. I'm really sorry guys if I forgot something. I think I'm pretty sure Mr. Morton mentioned mentioned the other tenants before in the I think it was the first episode who mentioned them. It was been a long time ago. I haven't I think some of them is in it's in a wheelchair. I tried to watch that episode as well, just to recap. The note says Selma Teed. She must live on the top floor. She's another tenant Mr. Morton has been visiting. Jeez Louise, how do you even put the helmet into the, into those things? You have to knock them out, you know. The note says Eddie Jones. Oh, he's. I just noticed he's. I just noticed she's at the very. Oh, she's at the very edge. She's our next door neighbor. She's been living here for quite some time. Mr. Morton has plenty of time to invade her dreams. I don't think so. That's the that's the main issue right now. Okay, what else? Oh, safe. Ah, crap. Might be the monitors. Anything here? Strange device. Uh, what is this for? Oh, great. Another puzzle. And here, indicator. This seems to be an indicator of some kind. The needle seems to indicate that the machine is empty. Oh, this is for the gas. Oh, this is how you knock them out. That's really... It contains the remains of burned paper, mostly. It looks like Mr. Morton has tried to destroy evidence before he died. Most of it is completely destroyed, but this little piece seems readable. Mind if I take a look? Okay... Okay, uh, I think it's really easy to remember. Diamond... This side... And that side. Which is reverse, okay. I think this might be it. Oh yeah, I can tell, I can tell, yeah, yeah, I can see the edges, okay, okay. So... Wait, where's the remote? Okay, if I remember correctly, that's six, that's five. Wait, something's not right. Did they change? Yeah, no, it's still the same. Just, just be organized. Okay, so it's one six nine nine three one. One six nine nine three one. Okay. One six nine nine three one. Okay. I hope that's the right combination because just in, not sure if it's going horizontal or vertical. Okay. One six nine. Oh crap! Nine three one. Okay. Oh, I was I was really conscious about that. Cautious about that, sorry. Pick up master key. Oh, I think we can get out with this. Okay, we got the master key for what? Getting out of here? Examine door, wait. Does it have a keyhole? It's a key. Can I use it? Not with yourself. Fuck. It's already plenty. I'm already plenty of it. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's a good joke. Oh, come on. It's all okay, okay. Okay, that's it. No? The elevator. It seems requires a key. Wait, what? An elevator needs a key? But why though? Oh... That's why. Oh, this one. It better not. Well, it might upset the neighbors. Uh, okay, let's get to the no let's get the second floor already. That makes sense why we can enter the basement. Now we can go there anytime we want. Honey, I'm home. Yeah. She seems to have fallen asleep just like Mr. Morton did. Unable to wake her. Okay. Well, that's me trying to go to receiver device. Uh oh. Was it receiver sender? Okay, so it says senders on this one. Okay, if I'm correct, this should have been. I'm the receiver. Okay. Sorry about this, Alicia. I feel weird about peeping around inside your dream. But I don't see any other way to help you right now. Is it going to be. Um, she mentioned before in the first episode, um, her dream was in a ship, so. Is it going to be in the ship? 
I see you on the other side. Oh, I, I forgot about this. Oh, God. Yep. Ooh, let's. What the heck? Where we are? Where are we right now? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another glorious evening aboard the SS Albatross. We hope you're enjoying your cruise so far. Oh, this music, though. Wow. In a moment, we'll start reserving the evening meal in the dining hall. On behalf of the crew aboard, we wish you a continued pleasant journey. Okay, this must be the leisure cruise Alicia talk about during breakfast. Oh, she he reminded me. Okay, okay, that's a good one. Looks like she's having the same dream again. I need to find the dream. I need to find the machine's root and cut that little. Ah, can't, can't, can't read right now. I better find Alicia as well. She might be able to help me. Oh, I better be. Chapter 3. Oh, that's fast. The boat beneath the sunny sky. Ooh. Okay, that's all I see. Sun parasol. It shields you from the sun. Yeah. Wait, pick up parasol. How come this one I can pick but not the other one? That doesn't make sense. Sitting in that chair. There'll be plenty of time to lower but once I've cut out the machines off the dream. Okay, Mr. Nice Guy. Anything here? Nothing. What the heck? Oh, you're dreaming about me, huh? As a bartender? Uh, hello? Hello, cadet. Okay, okay. I can't see your badge anywhere. That's, that's a grade, wait, it's a grade D violation. Identify yourself. My name is Victor Neff. Uh, my name is Victor Neff. What? Bartender? Standing bar is only my current assignment. When you address me, you're call you call me sir. Is that understood? Yes, sir. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, Cadet Neff, why don't you have a badge? A badge? Your number, Cadet. Where's your number? I don't have one. Then how do I know what to call you? Why don't you just call me Victor? Because my name is also Victor. Oh, that's a strange coincidence, don't you think? It's pretty com it's a pretty common name. In fact, every crew member on this ship is named Victor. Oh. Oh, she's thinking about me, all right. That's why we use badges. The fact that you don't if the, the fact you don't know, this makes me suspicious. Are you a rebel insurgent? Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, great, insurgent. The last time I the last time I heard that name, I heard, last time I heard that word, it's from Ace Attorney from Nico B. Are you a rebel, son? Or a spy? You smell like a spy. I'm neither. Don't lie to me. I'll waterboard you since we still Sunday. Oh dear. Please not. I promise I'm not lying. I'd rather not drown right now. Thank you very much with your dreams. Cross your heart and hope to die. What? Simple question, sailor. Or do you cross your heart and hope to die? What kind of interrogation is this? I'm sorry, mate. I'm just messing with you. I knew you were you were coming and thought I'd give you a little hazing. You know to say welcome aboard. Sorry if I scare you. Oh, <laughs> I mean it's kind of a bit weird if they're gonna speak like that. Especially if if you're if you're just an employee in a cruise ship, unless you're you're part of the patrol or something. You had me worried for there for a second. I'm Victor Five, by the way. We're sharing cabins. We're sharing cabins, so you and I will be seeing a lot of each other. Is she expecting us? Or the machine was expecting us? I was told to send you up to the cabin's aid once you got here. He greets all the new crew members, so you should have probably go see him. I take all day though. He loves to wait. Or was there anything else? Where am I? You're aboard the SS Albatross. Finest ship to ever sail the aging skies. Okay, have you seen my wife? You have a civilian wife aboard? What's her name? Maybe I can paint her. Her name's Alicia Neff. That's not funny, Cadet. Uh, what? Why? Is anything wrong with her? Well, I wouldn't even joke about that if I were you. But I need to see her. 
The record with the captain is is for members of the command staff only. Oh, she's she's leading the ship. Oh, you're not part of the command staff unless you're you've been promoted to the record speed. At least she's the captain aboard. That's Captain Neff to you, Nekhalet. Konome calls her Alicia and lives to brag about it. On second thought, scratch that. Call her Alicia. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Where do you find the captain aid? She's usually by the by the bridge on deck three. Can't miss him. Okay, deck three. Also, Captain Aid enjoys a sense of camaraderie camaraderie among the crew. So try to high five him any chance you get. He loves that. Okay. I don't say that. Say you a bit later then. Okay, is there anything here? I can, wait, I can pick up lemon. I can pick up a lemon. I can pick up the shaker. I'm gonna make a. Don't tell me I'm gonna make one. Pick up the gin. Oh. Okay, what else? What else? Pick up vermouth. Okay, I got the ingredients for some reason. Am I supposed to do this? Call a dumb waiter. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna take your bowl. Oh dear, so many things to explore. Unlike the other one, the decorative mermaid statuette. Oh, this is going to be a long episode. I might be cut down to pieces here. Balcony. Yep, another one. I guess you're the new guy, eh? Nice to meet you. I'm Victor Seven. Okay, it's gonna get confusing. So the one in the bar is five. Here's seven. I'm the ship's head servant. No, I already know that. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I think it's gonna be the same thing. I better get to the to the captain first before I do this. There might be something else I can do. Okay. Welcome aboard, Cadet. I'm Victor Three. Okay. Five seven three three is the command staff. I'm Victor Three. Captain Alicia snaps aid. Oh there. Oh there. I I'm essentially her right hand and on board this ship. Your orders from the fridge from the bridge will come through me. Okay. The captain has full of plate and doesn't have time to micromanage individual cadets. You got that? Yes, sir. First of all, we need to designate you call a sign, so people know what to call you. How does Victor sit? Okay, it makes sense. Five, six, seven, you're three, which is a, which is a weird skip. Sounds fine, I guess. Good. Here's your badge. From now on, if you hear Victor sits over the PA system, that means you. I haven't heard anything about your assignment yet, but why don't you just get acquainted with the, with the boat and crew for now? They might need a sit so that'll be a good opportunity to make yourself useful. To think you can handle that, cadet? Yes, sir. Good. Oh, and before I forget, here's a key to cabin one. This, that's where you bunk from now on. The lower bunk should be available. Make yourself at home. Is there anything else? I don't know if to say that. <laughs> oh dear, how many crewmen are there? How many crewmen are there? Currently, we house over 1,500 passengers aboard. And in total, there are 250 crew members doing various attacks. Let me guess. 250 victors, huh? Yeah, that'll be get confusing. But the ship is vast and such it's rarely interact. Huh? The bridge is beyond this, or all oh, that makes sense. That's where Captain and her command officers control everything on board. Perform your duty well, and one day you might be able to join them. We're on the top deck, such as the t of the ship. Sorry. Besides, us, there's a bartender, the ship's servant, and the bus boy. I haven't met that one yet. How can I see the rest of the ship? Right now, you are assigned to this station only. In order to leave it, you need the permission by the captain. How do I get that? Getting promoted to another assignment is your best bet. Oh dear! Don't tell me I have to climb the ladder. I won't try living by force if I were you. The last section, deserter, we caught got one on one way ticket to cold room duty. I'll come see me again once you're settled in. Might have received an assignment from the command by then. If you manage to impress them, there might be another assignment after that. Okay, the game's all saving right now. I wonder how long is this episode? Some night preserver. Sorry, should light to the which is my room? Cabin oh, yeah, this is cabin two. Wait, can I use the key? Where's the key? Oh, this is cabin once. Sorry. Okay. 
Home sweet home. The standard issue with video receiver. Probably used for listening to music during the off hours. Locker. Cutting standard issue clothes and uniform. Probably the same thing. Not an ordinary. Bed. Okay. Okay, Victor. Just. According to the captain's aid, this punk is mine. That's quite comfortable. Up one. Turn cold water down. Power outlet. It's a power outlet. Something special about it. Chair? Oh god. It's a wooden desk chair. Okay. Go to a portal. Oh, that's. that's well, I can tell there's gonna be a jump scare up for this. Okay, you just fade to. Okay, I found a bug game. Okay, now I can talk to you normally. I advise you to put your badge on, man. Since the wear one is a great violation, the captain's very straight and about uniform code. Fish, shish. I thought I already wore it. Oh. Oh, I can do that, huh? I can fool the members. The captain's aide told me to help you out. Is there anything I can do? Sure thing. I don't know if you're noticed yet, but there's a bit of a rat infestation aboard. I just one saw one scuttle into the hole by the door over there. Oh, that one. If you want, you could help me eradicate them. Sure, what do I need to do? As far as I can tell, they build their nests in the walls. They need to locate all the nests and bait them with poison. How many nests are there? I've seen three so far. Sounds good. Because it's done. Great. Here's the rat poison. There's only a bit left, so I think it'll be enough to to halt the nest. Don't hold, don't hold that stuff lightly, mind you. The poison's potent enough to kill a full-grown man. You get to keep that boss as soon as your as your rewards. Gee. Tell me more about yourself. I haven't gone to any fancy schools or read any books with notas like the command officers up the bridge. I just have to be good with my hands. I've got something the rest of this dead dead beat crew lacks. Yeah, yeah, what's that? A mission, my friend. I'm just in for greatness. Can you feel it? One day the captain will catch a glimpse of my tan ripped body and decide that I'm the one. The one the one what? The love of her life, you dope. Oh, do you know she never married during the Great War? She always chose duty before personal pleasure. That shows character. But the war is over now, and deep down, I know she longs to settle down. That's where I, with my good loots and charm, have the edge. That's not gonna happen, considering to me there's about 250 victors. <laughs> victors, sorry. She's just about the only thing carrying this ship in the alt. How come? You don't know if you noticed yet, but the staff isn't the most proactive. I mean, sorry guys, if I'm reading this. I thought I'm reading this incorrectly because. The resolution for what I'm seeing right now is kind of a bit small than the one you're watching right now. But without the storm leader, nothing will get done. We're lucky to have her. She's like to keep up appearances. He's like to keep the illusion that he runs things aboard. But the only thing he does is read the captain's instruction and out loud to the rest of us. You can train a power to do that. That's his job? Pretty much. He thinks he's better than everyone else just because he gets to work so close to the bridge. And keeps harping on about how his net's in line for promotion. But it's just like the rest of us. The rest of the crew ships like a small city. I don't know how many crew members and passengers we carry, but it's a lot. And they all need to be fed and taken care of. It's quite an entertaining keeping a ship like this afloat. And to know that's basically managed by one person makes it even more impressive. Okay. I put some poison now. I still I also saw one back then. Okay. Okay, I think I already saw the second one already on the bridge. Oh, you're a new man. Who? Who are you? I'm the new Kumar, apparently. I don't think you were due until tomorrow. Guess I was early. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. I'm Victor Four. Okay, uh, let me let me get, do, do a simple recap. Okay, five bartender, seven is the the couch guy, three is the bridge, and four is uh, bus boy. So I might be out oh, there. Six, I'm uh, that's me. Better four, the chief bus boy. Are you getting used to life on board? I still feel very unfamiliar. Don't worry about it. Once you have an assignment, you'll get used to it. How about that? 
Captain Day told me to make myself useful and help you guys out. Is there anything you need? If you want, you can clear the desk over here. I didn't do it myself, but on my break. Sure. Needs to be sent to the kitchen. How do I get to the kitchen? You don't. Just use the down waiter by the bar. Yourself. How would you like to know that? I just thought being going to know the a bit better. Are you going to keep tabs on me? I'm just trying to make conversation. Who sent you? What? Nobody sent me. You're one of them, aren't you? Oh, never mind. Okay, you're one of those. I'll talk to you later about that. I'm pretty sure the interaction will be the same thing here. I really like the, I really like the music is changing along the tone. Like, it still keeps on tone, but... Oh, never mind. It's kind of weird that that, vit, that the interaction in for Victor is a bit weird. I just, I just let it on for a while. It's kind of a bit weird that um, in order to interact, Victor must be facing that very, the very position he's supposed to interact. But it's kind of a bit weird because the, normally, if you're, you're in point-and-click games, the game will, itself will orient itself into. I'm really sorry. It, it really orients itself into facing to the object you're supposed to interact. But it's kind of weird in this version because in, in this case because. Victor never, it's like he's just going in that very same direction and he's never facing at the object. Which is kind of a bit annoying sometimes, especially if you're trying to interact. I just really have to face him in order to inter in order to, to inspect the object. I'll put some poison in the hole. Okay, I know where the last one is. It's better be good prices. I haven't checked the PA counter. Okay, I better never mind. I want to spice these things a lot. Oh, there it is. I can keep the bots, it might be handsome. That's the last of them. Which is just well since I'm out of poison. Why do you salmon rat poison? The pack is empty. So a label on it saying, Warning, little upon ingestion. Atom units. Okay, this might be useful later on. Ethanol, iron oxide, distilled protein, citric acid, and calcium. Citric acid, huh? Terry know how to get that one. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't checked this one yet. It's a decorative mermaid statue. But... Alright, wait, I already checked that, sorry. I forgot. Do your stupid job now. Have you paid all the nests for me? Yeah, you found the last one. Did the rat points last for all of them? Barely, I ran out of after beating the last one. That's a good enough for me. Do you have anything else for me to do? Well, that's right now, but check with the other crew members. They might have asked us for you. Okay, bye. The music here feels eerie. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this. Okay, turn on. Kitchen. <laughs> oh, I can say it. Oh, that really, that really surprised me. Okay, bartender. It's kind of say you told me to help you out. Hey, I can do? Not really. You can just start meeting drinks, you know. Tending bar requires skills and years of training. Yeah, I do heard about that. It's a huge responsibility requiring secret arcane knowledge passed on from bar from tender to tender. Okay, how do I learn this arcane knowledge? The book is a good piece to start. Okay, what am I supposed to do? The ultimate, the ultimate to drink book. A comprehensive guide to cocktails from around the world. That's it. A drink book. The only recipe is only half the job. You could you could train a monkey to follow a recipe, but that will make him a bartender. The tricky part is doing it with some finesse. To prove to me you're not a monkey and to tell the candidate that you helped me. How do I do that? Makes me a martini. You'll find everything you need around the back, around the bar. If you mess up, you can just rinse the shake, go to the sink and start again. Okay. Turn on the water just in case I messed up. Martini, huh? Americano. Takiri. El Presidente. Margarita. Martini, okay. Three parts gin, six parts Vermont, one part lemon juice. Okay, let's where's the gin? Gin, there it is, gin. Pour some gin, pour some gin. Okay, okay. It has to be a better way to do this. Okay.
and behold, I upgraded Martini. Oh, that's easy. There we go. It stays tell me. A spicy decent martini. Just what I needed. Sweet liquor makes the days go by quicker. I'll tell the county that you help me out. Thanks. Okay, I still have to do that one. Oh great, a series of fetch quests. Victor 6, report to Captain's aid. I repeat, Victor 6, report to Captain's aid. Okay. There you are. Has my sign arrived yet? Yeah, I just re I said I just received your briefing. I a doozy. There might even be a big promotion in it if you do this right. As you might heard, one of our crew members went A W L recently. A W L. I didn't know that, sir. It's unfortunate, but sometimes these things happen. Is it M I A as in missing action? I told initially he he was seen drinking late last night. But the captain suspects something might be withholding information. Oh, a mystery now. Why does she suspect that? Because the initial reports contradict each other. But some say they saw him drinking. Some say he never touched a drop. It doesn't add up. Has this happened before? It's pretty rare, but yeah, these things happen now and then. You sound pretty unconcerned. That's why I see it. He's probably passed out drunk somewhere below deck. That's usually the case when people miss a shift. I think she'll turn up sooner or later making excuses. Who is this missing crew member? He calls his call sign is Victor Eleven, so Victor Eleven is the missing crew member. Okay, I'll get that one. He works as a sound dead steward. He always seemed very reliable to me, but I haven't had much contact with him. The proto states we have to inform the nets of nets of gain twenty four hours after the disappearance. That hour is approaching quickly. And the captain wants to be able to tell them something might seem more substantial than sorry, we seem to have Misplace your son. Oh. What does Karen want me to do? She wants you to investigate the disappearance. Talk to this fellow crew member and find out what they know. Whereas was he seen last? Did he talk to him about leaving? Is he hiding from something? That sort of thing. What does a sun dead steward do exactly? Missy takes care of passages who are sunbathing. It can be anything from applying sunscreen to managing deck chair reservations. Why the captain give me this assignment? Since you arrived today, you're the most impartial crewman aboard. Oh, you don't know any of the, the men crew, crews, and you have the reason to you have no reason to lie. Let's put you in a unique position to actually find out what happened. Could foul play could foul play the be could foul play be behind the disappearance? I guess all options have to be considered until we've found evidence to rule them out. Who knew him best? I can't say I'm the one who asked you about this, but he shares kind of with Victor Seven. Oh, the, the Herd Seven. You ought to know him pretty well. Where do I begin? Talk to the other crew. Okay, I just expected. With this assignment, you've been prom promoted to the rank of Assistant for Class. For you admirably, admirably, and there might be another promotion down the line. Come back to me if you're in on or need my help. I might be able to, ma to nudge you in the right direction. Oh dear, it's gonna take a while to get to... Is it change? I don't like this music. You'll definitely not like this music. I'm investigating the disappearance of Victor Eleven. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I was afraid this might happen. Why do you say that? When I heard he was missing this morning, I got a bad feeling, like I knew something that was wrong. Hearing that the captain ordered an investigation confirms that. He hasn't just missed a ship anymore. He's gone. That's still to be decided. What do you know about his disappearance? What do you want to know? Tell me about Victor Eleven. Oh dear, how well do you know him? Hardly at all. I bump him every once in a while at the busing tables on a Sunday, but that's pretty much it. Do you have any other plans I should know about? His life was sunshine and butterflies until he was went missing. If you know anything, you're more than welcome to contribute. I'm sorry, but the last guy I've told went missing, so I'm a bit reluctant <laughs> confiding in others. Oh dear, let me guess, you want to do something for you first? Not like that. But you don't gain somebody's trust by submitting yourself as an errand, as their boy. True. That's true. Then how? Prove to me that you don't think I'm crazy. 
Told to me that uh, there's a conspiracy going on on board, and I'll consider trusting you. Conspiracy? Did the villain leave the ship? Not before he knew that what was going on on board. What will that be? I will be trying to be been trying to figure out. Do you have any enemies on board? Did you give me the Don't you think that's likely? He still might come back. Your optimism is touching. Oh, I'm afraid this is just more than this. The other crew members. The bartender. Everybody knows he's the rubbish bartender. I don't know how he does it, but somehow he managed to manage to avoid the emotions for quite some time. What do you think that is? He's crafty. Back when he worked below deck, I heard he was suspect of framing a young cadet in order to take credit for his work. The hint could be proved, so the case was dropped. Two months later, he was promoted to head of cabin services. But lately, he slugged him to running out. How come? He failed to deliver a drink order to the captain more than one occasion. It's hard to blame that on somebody else. I guess it's run out of cadets to manipulate. Ooh. Oh, looks like we got some secrets, huh? Seven? Between you and me, I seem too stupid to be a threat. What was his relation to Victor Eleven? He didn't get along and we were constantly butting our heads. What did they argue about? Any small day to day things? Yeah, to be honest, it's gonna be too obvious that it's going to be Victor Seb. I mean, yeah, it's going to be too obvious that he's going to be the main reason why she why he disappeared. Somebody used the other others after she was stepping in the other's bunk with shoes on. That type of stuff. Captain number three. That guy wants to come out of position so badly he's waiting right outside the door. Seriously? What was his relation to Peter Eleven? He don't socialize. The social the captain's aide is only interested in being friends with people above his station. Oh, it's one of those kind of guys. With the things that go on, but I'm sure she's the only reason I'm still on the ship. She holds her gun in hand over me. What things would that be? There's something wrong with this place. Can you feel it? Like what? I've said too much already. Aw, oh, come on, man. You have the most reliable source out of all. You seem the one who knows the most. I'm facing the difference of Victor Eleven. I'd like to ask you a few questions about it if you don't mind. Shoot. How do you know Victor Eleven? I know him quite well, I guess. We shared current for the last couple of months. What current will that be? Cabin tier. The one next to yours. I'd like to check out where he lives. You won't have to have the kids, will you? As strange as it might sound, I seem to have forgotten where I put- Oh, come on. Maybe you can do something for me to jog my memory. Like what? There's this guy down in the kitchen. Victor84, okay. He's just a prep chef, but for some reason I think he's got the right to boss my waiters around. If you can find some way to teach that guy a lesson, I might be able to remember where I put the key. Oh? How can I even get to the kitchen? I'm not even allowed to get to the kitchen. I'm even explored everywhere. Oh, the dumb waiter. How do I do that? Frankly, I don't want to know. Okay, you don't know anything. Come back once it's done, I'll give you the key. When was the last time you saw him? Last time around 9.010. What was that? When was that? Alright, where was that? In our cabin, I was coming back from a ship. He was freshening up. But he, s he said he had a meeting with somebody on the sun deck. A meeting, you say? Who? I don't know, but he seemed pretty antsy. Got himself perfumed to the gr to the gills, so naturally I thought he was seeing some sk skirt from the passenger section. You didn't ask? We're not allowed to conserve your passengers, but if one of us does, does, I tend to look the other way. What happened next? I tried to cover his morning shift, thinking he was off on cloud nine. But when Dean showed up for lunch, I started to suspect something was wrong. What'd you do then? By then, his absence has been noted by others. I didn't tell anybody about the meeting because I thought it would be look bad on this on this permanent record. I see. Do you have any reason to believe he wanted to leave the ship? He never mentioned it to me and we were pretty close. Did he seem unhappy about something? I won't say that. He seemed preoccupied lately, but definitely not unhappy. Preoccupied with what? I don't know. He never told me. Do you have any enemies on board? Why do you ask? Didn't somebody want to get rid of him? Possibly. Murder on high seas. I mean, we're on a cruise ship. I mean, it's possible. Must try to be Toro. How can you make enemies on a sun deck? I don't know. Maybe he got smooth with somebody's wife? I suppose it's possible, but he's always seemed so professional. I mean, that's the point. The more, the higher position you are, the higher position, the more likely you're gonna get enemies. <laughs> See you later then. So I need to do something. Okay. Is there anything here I can do? Call kitchen. 
It's in here. Try to look at Victor Lever. Have you seen them? No, he hasn't been down in the kitchen. No, it's here. seen him. Right, just checking. Stop harassing away to the or else. Or else what? You'll regret it. You had to be more convincing than that, I'm afraid. What am I talking to? Single pair of chair, Victor. <coughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Who are you? Sorry. Victor sit. I'm calling from the bridge. Did you say you called your soul saints Victor sit? Yeah. You are not a member of command. You think I don't know who, who my superior officers are? Did I say the bridge? I meant to say I'm personally an officer to so grade A violation. Gonna have you court martial uh, court martialed for this. Sorry, I'm kidding. By all okay, that will be coming to play. Okay, that was inconvenient enough. How about you, boy? Investing into the disappearance of Bit Eleven. If I any question, so the goddess made you her little snitch, has she? What? No, a snitch. Just kidding, sport. Ask away. Tell me about Bit Eleven. How well do you know him? Well enough. Uh, we weren't boss and buyers or anything, but we got along fine. We had occasional. I put a turn on that faucet. Ter we have a occasional terribly spirit when a guest from a Sunday caused problems at the bar and vice versa. I'm serious. Did he drink a lot? He came here for the occasional shot every now and then if he had some rough ship. I never saw him flat out drunk though. He drank on duty? That's commonplace on board cruise ships. What else is there to do? Go dancing? So stay here long enough and you'll start doing as well. What, the puncher smell it on you? That's why they invented bread mint. Most of them are way more sauce than we are anyway. That didn't even work. That didn't even work. That's how you hide the alcohol. I didn't know that. I don't want to even try it out. Do you have any other problems I know sure I know about? You mean thousand abuse? That's pretty rare among the service staff. I mean, you could poison him. I can tell. You could poison him. I mean, you're dealing here with alcohol, so I'm pretty sure you could slip some a bit of cyanide pills in there. Or sleeping pills. I, I don't even know. It tells us, you see. The guy down in engineering, though. You're always high on something. Of course. I wouldn't even be surprised right now. <laughs> Who can blame them, right? Did Peter Levin want to leave the leave ship? He fought hard to be put on the sun deck service. Competition for top deck position is fierce. There's no way to throw that away. When was the last time you saw him? He came to the bar late last night. Still just about where you're standing now. If you didn't still one minute of this ship, he talked to anybody at the bar? He said hi to come to passengers, but aside from he was alone. He said he seems like he was waiting for someone. Okay, this is the one that I'm really curious now. Okay, who? No, no, nobody's showed up. Did they drain enough to become impaired in any way? Could they have fallen overboard? That sounds unlikely to me. He walked straight as an arrow when he left. When was that? What, 11 or 12? Oh, that's really late. Was there anything else that seemed strange about that last night? Not much as I guess. Oh, great, I skip it. He just stood there doodling away until napkin. What did he draw? Eh, something that might be related to what you're looking for. You can have it, but first there's something I want you to help me with. Oh, great, what now? Ever since I came on board something, I'm asking her to make a m bloody Mary. But because of the rationing, some ingredients are not impossible to get hold of. Okay, what do you want me to find about it? Make me one and I'll give you the napkin. Sounds fair, I guess. Thanks. It means a lot to me. Tell me about the crew. Number four. That guy's too high strong for his own good. But I'm pretty sure out of all the, the victors, it's either this guy or number four I trust the most. Seven and three, I'm not really sure. The only reason he is allowed up here is due to some mental ailment. And that guy's afraid of his own shadow. The daughter brought some fresh air. We'll do him good. When I was fresh on board, he used to confide all those wackos theories to me. So as bartender comes with the job. But this guy was talking headache inducing the tinfoil hat stuff. After a while, I just stopped listening. Ooh, he must not because he stopped talking to me pretty much lately. Those days, he mostly kept to himself. What kind of theories did he talk about? That there's something wrong with Shiba. Okay. But she's looking, but she's looking pretty good to me, eh? What's his relationship to Peter Eleven? They didn't have much content, but I saw them talking more and more lately. Oh. 
In a friendly fashion, they weren't exactly cracking jokes, but they seemed to get along. I don't know if it was a friendship, though. It seemed more like schoolboy sharing the secrets of a hidden porn stash. <laughs> what were they talking about? The weather? I never heard of them talking about anything else. Oh, oh, oh really now? Seven? Aside from sure inflated ego is pretty unremarkable, why was this relationship to Victor Eleven? They shared cabinets, so they must know each other pretty well. I never saw them do anything out together, though. Why do you think that is? I think they're pretty much tired. We're pretty much tired of each other. Okay, three. Sounds close. The bridge has given him the inflated sense of points. He's just large like messenger boy with no real authority. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what kind of. I'm not really sure the captain's age is that helpful. Well, not really in that sense, but overall. Pre oh, I skipped that one. Captain's age doesn't like to mix with the rest of us. I swear he thinks it obviously affects his chance of being promoted. Oh, come on, don't be that kind of guy. She's a living legend, and I'm really honored to be serving under her command. His service during the Great War is legendary. I really heard been him. What was her relation with Victor Eleven? He wasn't part of the command crew. I doubt she knew other than a name in the personal files. Okay, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, what is. Wait, why do I say that? What's the ingredients for that? Oh, wait, it's. Oh, 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 that's good. That's really good. They, they should. It shows me where I last left off. Oh, that's really good. It's gonna be helpful. Okay, one part French Vermont. Yes, does regular Vermont count? Jean. I was wondering, if, does it really count if I put seven? Okay. Tomato juice. Hot sauce. What? Lemon juice. Oh, you know, lemon, <laughs> lemon juice. In, okay. So it's tomato and hot sauce. Is there anything here related to that? None. Mind if I ask you for more question? Ask away. Okay, well, what if I didn't find him? Just to be sure. What are you trying to find? Okay, knew it. Tomato juice. That's a tricky one. Tomatoes are quite scarce since they're rationing. And without it, the drink's just not bloody. The key might be still a few if you're lucky. I don't think of that. Times. The hot sauce? That's a tricky one. Of course, why do. If you don't, if you don't put hot sauce on the bloody mirror, most of them will say it back complaining it's too mild. There's no substitute for that kind of heat. And how'd they find that? See you later. Okay, thanks for the information for the hot sauce. This is the sun deck. Oh yeah, this is oh this is the place. This is where Betty didn't work before he went missing. It's really normal to me. Okay. Oh, do you have to minutes down here? I'm working with any limitations just like you. If you're already blown to this month's tomato ration, that's, that's your problem. You can't spare a single tomato? I need some juice for the drink. Uh, to tell you the truth, we haven't seen a tomato in weights. We started using surrogates at this point, and I just do the same. Why don't you use a tomato juice surrogate? But, you know, anything red and liquid will probably just be fine. If you make the drink strong enough, this old, this old bombs won't notice. Thanks, I'll try that. What about the hot sauce? Where can I find hot sauce? I'm using department. Okay, what are you guys doing down there? Who am I talking to? Junior Electronic Engineer, Victor 178. Oh, that's a really big one. Who are you? Victor Sitz, calling you from. Kitchen. Okay, this time it's not the bridge. So, is this about the steel cleaner? Eh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I totally forgot to order that. I'll send something similar in the dumb waiter. Sure. I'll put in the dumb waiter then. Agent department? That's a weird one. I'm calling from no. I'm trying to locate Victor Eleven. Have you seen him down there? No, I haven't seen him down there. Right. Sorry, wrong number. Gasoline? Is gasoline red? I don't think so. Wait, if I can make something in the bowl. I poured some gasoline into this bowl. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this then? Okay, can I do the same thing from... Okay, can I do the same thing on the kitchen? So I retried the bridge. How about the restaurant? Gee, what now? We received a complaint? Oh boy, what's the problem? A customer said the soup was too... Oh, this is where I can get the uh, hot sauce. Cold? More mild. He said mild. 
there's something you can do about that? Sure, that's easy. I put something in the downward arrow. Thanks. Oh, this is where I got hot. But I still need a tomato, man. Something red. I'm pretty sure not gasoline. It's. I didn't feel sure gasoline is not red, and I'm pretty sure it's transparent. Okay, just call it down waiter. There we go. Okay, I've been doing this for quite a while. Gasoline doesn't even work. Which doesn't turn into anything. Pretty best put this out. Oh, God. You don't guys don't know how long I've been doing this. Okay, better. Okay. You guys don't know how long I've been doing this to find the. I have no idea. Wait. Can I return the boat? Self. Okay, uh. Um. Okay, I can send the ball again. To the kitchen. Why would I do that again first? Why do? Oh. Oh. Station security personnel. Fire emergency in the prep kitchen. Oh dear. What have I done? This is the best time to call. Okay. Oh, this is what I can. Oh. I heard the alarm. Oh, is that you? Yeah. Holy. <sighs> oh, holy crap. I thought you'd go down and slap him around. Not set fire to the entire kitchen. Or maybe it explode. I didn't think it would be that bad. I got the job done, you should have been more specific. You scare me, man. I'll be knowing what to, what you do if I won't just give you the key up front. You could kill somebody. So you remember where you put the key then? Yeah. Here. Oh, you have it all on your dick. Okay, let's use cabin 2 finally. This works for the 11 lid. It's like a mirror image of cabin 1. I can't see the thing that something's different. The raid, the book? Judging the book plate, this belongs to the missing crew member. It might be important. Pleasure cruise. Oh! Yup, it's gonna be a murder, alright. Oh, the music's picking up. What the heck? Why is it paced like this? What's it says? I'm really sure I better be careful so I don't cut myself. What's this? Looks like an instruction note, but I can't make out what it says. Whoever made this didn't have time to assemble it completely. Oh crap, I have to arrange this. Okay, give me. Okay, skip, skip. The... I'm gonna skip it for a while. Um, See you guys back then. That's it. Every letter's in the right place. I can read a note now. Last warning. I know what you've done. I have proof. Give me what I want or face the consequences. Oh, the threat letter. The sorcerer letter belonged to the missing crew member. Was he blackening someone on board? Is that the reason he went missing? Oh, it's all the saving now. Oh, we know we have progress. Okay, I, I really want to stop the video right now. I can't seem to find the how to, I can't even find a way to substitute the tomato juice right now. He keeps on saying the surrogate, surrogate. You guys don't know how long that this game that I've been recording right now. Um, I think I'll cut it down here for a while. I'm really sorry, guys. There's a lot of been cuts and now and then, but trust me, if you have any tips on this on this part where I have to find some tomato. I mean, the, here's the inventory I have. I have a parasol, I have the other ingredients, the badge, the poison, the drink will still have it, the gasoline, the hot sauce, the cruise manual, the scalpel, I have a new item, the scalpel, and a storage letter. If you guys know, find a proper substitute for the tomato juice. I know, it's, it's even saying that something red, something red. I'm not really sure, but I really hope you guys can help me on this. It took me forever just to find that one, one ingredient. It, it really... Really engraving for this fetch quest. Thank you, thank you guys for watching this video. 
hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye everybody. Oh. Okay, uh, I didn't know you meant last, as in last portal. Okay. Can't trade me with that anymore. What the heck? I know what I've done. I'm prepared to accept the consequences. But not before I shot you down. I'll cut you out of every game if I have to. Oh dear. Come here, come here. What to do, what to do, how to make automato juice.